Hello everyone, this is Ranger Rob from the Ranger Rob Country Living Channel. And yes, took a day off <laughs> again and um, working on new projects today. So we're at this cusp where it's still really cold in the mornings or at nighttime. So we're not sure whether we're ready to do anything in the greenhouse. However, we are getting a lot of plants going. Uh, these are uh, tomatoes. Got more tomatoes, cucumbers uh, going. So uh, by the time we're ready to uh, put plants in there, uh, I'll have some starters. So the other thing that's intrigued me with hy hy hydroponics is the floating wrap system. So I thought I'd create a little one um, right here. So this is the floating raft. Um, the hoses you see going down below is aerators. And all you have to do is actually put your, uh, I'm using Master Blend, uh, into uh, the nutrients into the water. And you have two ways of going. You can do a floating raft where your cups are in the water all the time. Or you can do your board on top and put the water at the top and then let the water slowly drip down over time. And you don't need to aerate those because the distance of the evaporation, the roots um, will get oxygen that way. This way, the floating wrap system, um, the reason I did that is because I didn't want to put that much water in this thing. <coughs> and uh, so I have aerators and aerator stones in there. And my little aerator is right over here, <coughs> which can actually power up several uh, floating wraps when I'm ready. This is kind of a test. Um, I'm doing uh, uh, half uh, lettuce, just uh, um, butter crunch, and some and some spinach. I want to see how well they do. Uh, once they start um, coming in, uh, showing up, and then rooting a little bit, the roots will go into the water, and I'll turn on the aeration. So it'll be a little bit noisier in here in the future. Uh, so anyway, that's kind of what I'm doing new in hydroponics. I'm learning just like the rest of you guys are. And today we're going to go out to the towers and finish up the watering system and uh, get that started. My strawberries should be in Friday, which is two to three days from now. And uh, we'll put the rest of our uh, coconut core and perlite into the rest of the towers and they'll be ready to go so lots of things today but today is setting up the water system on the rest of the towers because i made a modification and go from there well it's a little later in the day i'm in the greenhouse i'm draining out the big tank from the uh, test water and uh, once i get this kind of semi emptied out uh, then i'm going to put the lid on it cut my hose to fit a little better for the pump and uh, this baby's ready to go. Uh, meanwhile, I was out at the towers. It's super windy out, so I didn't want to take the camera out there. Got the rest of the uh, uh, drip lines cut the length and put caps on them all. And uh, that's ready to go too. I did do a little hand watering on the towers uh, until I got those connected. So uh, yeah, we're uh, ready to go here. Everything is looking pretty good. Going to put that lid right there. Uh, over here as soon as I get this water out of here. I have a little pump in there. That's just putting it out in the Out in the dirt out here. So almost done with that and then we'll get this all closed up Well, we're out at the towers again here, and I've got them all wired up now. These two towers are empty and the first three have strawberries in them and so they're uh, Hooked up properly with the new uh, uh, splits here so I split them here so one goes here and one goes here reason being is if I just did water here and it drops through these two get skipped so sorry about the wind it's just it's the wind it's been this way for a couple of days anyway uh, also I also remember those little uh, white strawberries I showed you that taste like pineapple well, I planted those and uh, Anyway, 
we're going to do a water test. Um, I'm going to try and shut those off when it's running and see if I can get these all working properly. So let me get this turned on. All right, so these here, I've turned them way down and which could should increase the the drippage here and uh, so far this is looking pretty good um, gotta check a couple more here all right looking at this a little closer this is working amazingly well um, everything's getting watered balanced uh, yeah and the water usage should be less. Um, we'll go over here and look at the tank. Wow, this is great. So, uh, like I said, the first two towers, they're still on a little bit, but I turned them way back. And the water usage is minimal. Awesome. So that's what I want, because I want these to be able to come on for about five minutes a couple times a day with solution in them and I just got to tweak these in a little bit like this one here is going too fast so all I have to do is turn this knob a little bit and slow it down okay, there's one more peek at this just to see how well it's working those drip into there which now is dripping into there everything's getting water very slowly and my tank is hardly going down at all love it so uh I think we got it. All right, guys, I'm gonna wrap this video up. It'll be a little shorter than normal. Lots of things happening. Uh, we've got some um, more strawberries coming in. Uh, I have a new uh, growing light, uh, the extension I wanna show you that's coming in tomorrow. So uh, lots of equipment coming in. Uh, and we're starting to get ready to plant a couple of things into the Dutch bucket system. So that's about ready to go. And uh, the towers are working perfect. This weekend we'll get the rest of the soil in, the rest of the strawberries, and we're set to go. So guys, I want to thank you very much for watching. I'm so sorry about the wind. That's one of the reasons why we're not doing as many videos this week. It's been windy every day. Very frustrating. Anyway, please take the time to like, subscribe, and share our videos. All over the whole wide world we'd appreciate it thank you very much for watching and uh we'll go more in detail about all the different hyponics we're doing dutch buckets towers and floating rafts so anyway guys stay tuned bye our videos are made possible by ranger rob poopy bags available at amazon right now thank you very much for watching our video please take the time to like subscribe and share our videos all over the whole wide world. Thanks.